Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this diamond lace bookmark, which you can see here in front of you. This is an easy to work bookmark and uh, makes a great uh, gift for yourself or for a friend or family member, or perhaps to sell at a craft sale. This is an easy bookmark to work. To work it, you're going to need about 20 to 30 yards of a lightweight yarn. I'm going to be working with this Patton's Grace yarn uh, today, which is a 100% cotton yarn. You're also going to need a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, and then as well as a copy of the free written pattern, which can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, and the direct link is in the description of this video there for you. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe and take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Our pattern today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by working a slip knot and then by making a foundation chain of 46 chains. Once you have your foundation chain of 46 chains worked, you're going to begin by working row one with a double crochet into the sixth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five, six. Into that sixth chain, work one double crochet. You're then going to chain one skip one and double crochet into the next stitch. You can then repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next stitch. At the end of your row one, you can chain one and turn your work. At the end of row one, you can chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to single crochet into the top of that first double crochet stitch, single crochet into the next chain one space, and single crochet into the next double crochet. You're then going to repeat that all the way across, single crochet into the next chain one space, and single crochet into the next double crochet. Continue that all the way across. When you come to your starting chain, you're going to single crochet into that chain space, and then you're going to uh, skip the next chain and single crochet into the next. And I'll show you when I come across. So you've come across to your starting chain space there. You can work one single crochet into that space. Then you're going to work one more single crochet into the next chain stitch. And it's actually the fourth chain in that starting chain. You can then chain three and turn your work. For row three, you're going to skip the first three stitches. So skip the one that your chain three is coming out of, skip the next two stitches. Into that next stitch, you're going to work three double crochets. So you should have your chain three, then skip the next two stitches and work three double crochets into that next stitch. You can then skip the next three stitches and work three double crochets into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. 
skip the next three stitches and work three double crochets into the next stitch. When you come all the way across to your final three stitches, you're going to skip the next two stitches and work one double crochet into the final stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row three. You can then chain five, which counts as a double crochet and a chain two space, and turn your work. For row four, you're going to skip that first stitch where your double crochet is coming out of. And then over the next three stitches, you're going to work a double crochet three together. To work your double crochet three together, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. You're going to repeat that over the next two stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Do that one more time, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll have four loops then on your hook. You're going to yarn over, and pull through all four. That's your double crochet three together. You can then chain three and repeat double crochet three together over the next three stitches. And chain three double crochet over the next three stitches. Repeat that all the way across to the end where you will finish your last double crochet three together, chain two, and double crochet into that final stitch. I've come to the end of my row four and I'm going to double crochet into the top of my turning, uh, sorry, chain two and then double crochet into the top of my turning chain. At the end of row four, you can then chain one and turn your work. For row five, we're going to single crochet into that first stitch and then work two single crochet into the next chain two space. Single crochet into the top of the next double crochet three together and then work three single crochet into the next chain three space. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Single crochet into the top of the next double crochet three together and work three single crochet into the next chain three space. When you come across to the end, you're going to work two uh, single crochet into your chain two space and then uh, skip the next those two chains that are under them and work a single crochet into the next chain on your turning chain. And I'll show you what I mean when I come across. So you're going to come all the way across uh, to, what was that, chain five. So you're going to work two single crochets into the chain five space. And then underneath you've skipped those two chains and you're going to work a single crochet into the next chain. So that single crochet is actually work it, being worked into the third chain of that starting chain five. You can then chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. 
and turn your work. For row six, you're going to skip the first two chains. So the one where your chain four is coming, or first two stitches, the one where your chain four is coming out of and that next stitch. And you're going to double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next stitch. Once you come all the way across, you can chain one, turn your work, and do not fasten off. We will then work our edging. For the edging of our bookmark, you've chained one, you've turned your work. You're then going to work along this long edge, and you're going to single crochet into each stitch, so into that first stitch, and into each chain one space all the way across. So single crochet into each stitch and chain one space all the way across and continue working to uh, your corner stitch there. When you come across, uh, you're going to work a single crochet into the chain space, and then a single crochet into the third chain of your starting chain. And that's going to be your corner stitch. So into that third single, into that third chain, you're actually going to want to work uh, also two more stitches. So you've worked one, and then two, and one more for a total of three stitches into that corner stitch. You can now turn your work so that you're working along the short edge of your bookmark. And along this short edge, you want to work 10 single crochet stitches evenly across. You can work more or less just make sure that you have the same number on each side. So I'm here at four, five, and it should bring you to your corner stitch. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Once you come across to your corner stitch, you're going to want to work into that corner stitch three single crochet stitches. There's one, two, and three, and it's going to bring you back along the opposite long edge. Once again, along this long edge, you're going to work one single crochet into each chain space and each stitch all the way across. When you come to that final stitch, work three stitches into your corner stitch. Once you come across to that corner stitch, which is actually going to be a third chain in that starting chain, you're going to work uh, three single crochet stitches into that corner stitch. And then once again, work 10 single crochet stitches evenly along that opposite side, or if you've worked more or less, just make sure they're the same number.
And when you come back to your first stitch, you can work two more single crochet stitches into that corner stitch again, and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You can then fasten off And now using your yarn needle, go ahead and weave in any of your loose ends. I think I have one more here on the other side. like so. And then your diamond lace bookmark is complete. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then happy crocheting. Bye!